Ten Magic Hero 7. Sponsor pořadu. Hello and welcome to the first gameplay presentation of our game The Dwarves. It's an early development version, so a lot is still going to change, but it should be enough for a first impression. I'm playing Glandolin, a dwarf from the Fifthling clan, and like all the other dwarven clans, they guard Girdelgard. That's the world the game takes place in. This battle is later gonna be the tutorial in the game, and I'd say we'll just jump right into the action. It's not just the other dwarves that fight automatically, Glandolin also fights by himself if you're inactive. That's convenient because you usually play three or four heroes at the same time and you can't take care of each of them all of the time. That's why we have those auto attacks. Well, I'll leave my allies behind and move further towards this bridge. Your task is taking care of your hero's positions and the special attacks. Glendalyn can do a jump attack. We've seen this earlier, but I'll do it again. He also has this charge attack that allows him to push enemies to the side and out of the way. Here we were able to see why that can be quite effective. I just pushed some orcs off the bridge. His third special attack is a mighty blow, dealing lots of damage and throwing enemies back in a straight line. In the game it's always about few heroes fighting lots of enemies. That's why you have to make use of the environment. The enemies have a flocking behavior and their movements are generated physically correct. By the way, you can't use special attacks all the time because they use up action points. So you have to consider when to use which of the attacks. Depending on the hero, the action points are recharged by killing enemies or with other actions, or they just regenerate over time. The action points are displayed above the heroes, it's the small blue dots. Okay, I just got a few grenades that I can use in battle. You can clearly see how the power of the grenades pushes the enemies apart. All in all, there are 15 playable heroes in the game, and each of them has their own special abilities that can be leveled up. And of course, each of the heroes has different strengths and weaknesses. Down here, in the middle of the screen, I can see my current objective and the objective of the orcs. In this wave of attack, I have to kill a certain amount of orcs. My king! What are you doing here? Gizelbert I and I, the father of the Fifthling clan, has not been on the front line of battle against the creatures of Teon for many cycles. The king surveys the battlefield and the defenders with a grave expression. We are too few. This you know as well as he does. But there will be no reinforcements arriving. Hundreds of brave warriors lie inside the fortress dying. The illness is running rampant. It brings weakness and death. Stay at your posts. Be as steadfast as the granite of which we are made. Nothing can break us. Vrakas is with us. All right, I just got a second character. Gizelbert, king of the fifthlings. I can either select and control the characters separately, or I select both of them together, just like in a real-time strategy game. So let's advance a little bit. My comrades will catch up. Of course, Gizelbert has his own special attacks. For example, he's got a sweeping blow, that's also great for pushing orcs from bridges. And he's also got this mighty blow with his hammer onto the ground, that swipes orcs off their feet. Later in the game, the abilities of different heroes can complement each other. 
For example, maybe one of them can stun enemies, while another one deals guaranteed critical damage to stunned enemies. We'll just ignore these ogres here and move towards those catapults. That will be the target of this second wave of attack. But we'll just skip that and move right to the end of the tutorial. Look at me. I am Syntharas, the Reaper of your death. I will take your life, and the land will take your soul. Get out of my sight, pointy ears, and let me delight at the closed gate a little longer. The gate may have closed, but when you rise again from the dead by the power of the land, you will be one of us, and you will open it. Never! My soul belongs to Vrakas. No, your soul now belongs to the land, and henceforth you will belong to it forever. Now die, and return. Then, hand us Girdelgard. <sighs> You're a perfectionist, Tungdil Bolifar. I've got a reputation to uphold. If you can't rely on the metalwork of a dwarf, what can you rely on? So, this now is the actual beginning of the game, about a thousand years later. You look dreadful. What a charmer. The maid gives you an ironic, reprimanding scowl. Ikana has been crying half the night. When you were seething, I carried you around the vaults. You played with my beard and I sang you to sleep. Frala smiles. She's heard this story many times before. That was 23 cycles ago, but I'm quite sure you didn't sing. You might have grumbled a bit. If what you've read about the Dwarven lifespan is true, it'll be another 300 sun cycles and more before you are called to the Eternal Forge. The certainty of one day having to witness Frala's death already burdens your heart. This is Tangdil, our main character. He's a dwarf that grew up among humans. To be more exact, he grew up with Lot Yonan, one of the big mages, and we're inside his vaults right now. And this here is the maid Frala, that I'll just have to put off right now. I can now move around freely with Tangdil and examine different objects in the environment. You've worked a bit more on Sunya's birthday present last night. The little one is crazy about horses. You, on the other hand, prefer to keep your distance unless you're fitting them with hooves. Too many legs and way too big. Before we now scout around in the vault some more and set out into the world, we'll end this first small gameplay presentation. If you support us on Kickstarter, you can get a first alpha version of the game's beginning within this year and will then receive regular updates until the game is released in mid-2016. We hope that you liked this small impression and we're looking forward to your feedback.